Skip. So. Hi, Kiana. Hi, Andy. Hi, Erica. Hi, Tori. Okay, so as y'all know, I very rarely go live because of one person. Yeah, I see them eyes. I see them eyes. So I go, I go live about themes. So this came up yesterday with one of my friends, and then it came up today with another friend. And instead of me calling all of these women and having uh, phone calls, I'm just going live because I feel like things, I pay attention to the, the reoccurring messages I'm getting every single week. I want to tell y'all this. So I know that there is this perception amongst you know, heavier set women that it's harder for you to date and to, you know, find love. I want you to know, number one, that the skinny bitches go through the same shit that you go through. Okay? <laughs> it's the same. Niggas, niggas and flies, honey, they the, they the same. It does not matter what size you are. Let me tell you what does matter. Your confidence. See, the women who get treated nicely, they believe that they deserve to be treated nicely. The women who find themselves in good, healthy relationships. They have a good, healthy self-esteem. It doesn't matter if you are a size 20 or if you're a size six. It, that, that is not the determining factor on whether or not you can find a man who admires you, respects you, loves you, and cherishes you. It is not the size. It is your own belief in yourself. It is your confidence. It is what you have determined your self-worth is. And, and men can tell by how you carry yourself. Men can tell. And this is why I believe that every time I leave the house dolled up, if I'm doll, all dolled up, dressed to the nines, got my stilettos on, I got my you know, $7,000 handbag, all of that, less men will approach me than when I got my messy bun, my wife beat it, and my little short shorts on. Then they approach me, you know why? Because that shows confidence that I would leave the house like that and, not, and don't care, and I'm still happy, and I'm still, you know, I still feel like I'm gorgeous. Ooh, no matter what I have on, but then when you dress all up, a lot of times that can come across as like you trying to do too much because you don't have the confidence. But so anyway, that's my theory on why women, I think it's across the board. Can we all agree that we get hit on more when we dress down? Like whenever we bummy, you know, we think we bum out here. We don't care. We ain't out here trying to pick up nobody. We get hit on the most. Can we all agree on that? Is it true? But um, but it's your confidence. It's what you believe, and men can tell what you think about yourself by how you respond to them, right? So if you are acting desperate and pressed, you know you clock in when the last time he called you, texts you, whatever. That's that lets him know where your confidence level is, what you think of yourself. If you don't have boundaries, if you don't determine, you know, what you're, if you just accept, you know, he calls you, it's uh, 8 o'clock Friday night, hey, I'm trying to come over Netflix, chill. 
a confident one would be like, oh, I'm already out with my girls. You're going to have to catch me another day, preferably within 24, 48 hours, sir. Hello? But, some, uh, but a woman who feels like she's really not worthy of a guy's attention or worthy of love or whatever, they're going to accept whatever they can get from a man. They sitting at home Friday night you know, uh, sad because they not on a date. So any old nigga call, I want to come over and, you know, Netflix and chill with you. And they're like, oh, yes, that would be great. Because him acting, him showing any kind of attention, it makes her feel like, you know, he's he's validating for her that she's worth something, that he found, find, finds her attractive enough. But a woman who knows her self-worth is going to carry herself different it's going to carry herself different you ain't calling me all hours of the night you ain't coming over my house ever you know <laughs> you're going to take me out we're going to go somewhere you're going to call me with some plans or you ain't going to see me like it's just a, a different kind of energy and it's the other thing too a woman who truly is confident in herself this is the thing there's a difference between being confident and being stank a, a, a lot of women are stank because you are act, actually masking your own insecurities with stankness so you don't really believe that you know you are worthy of a man loving you really desiring you and wanting to court you and treat you nice so you mask your insecurity by being stank, you know, and, and like having to throw it in his face. Like I'm a prize. I'm the prize. You, you going to treat me like this. You're going to treat me like that. But a true, a woman who's truly confident in herself, I don't have to state my standards because you know, what's, what's understood doesn't have to be said. You already know. You already know. And if you don't, I have a very uh, warm way of letting you know what my standard is. And it's not tearing you down the streets. And it's not, you know, being savage and or being petty. It's just real simple. It's like, hey, I would love to go out with you, but I'm going to need more notice than this. Or I would love to spend time getting to know you, but it's not going to happen at my house. You know, it's not who the fuck you think you I am. I, yo, you must, you got me fucked up. Like, that's that. Nobody wants to deal with that. So it's not about your weight. The only, the only time, and I can say this because I've been size 20, okay? I've been all across the board, y'all. I done had four kids. I done been everywhere, Okay. I got something in my closet for everybody. I could have a whole boutique. <laughs> okay, so so it's it's not about your your size. It's about your confidence. So I want you to really work on what you believe for yourself and your confidence. And and I had a girlfriend yesterday tell me was it yesterday or the day before? I think it was yesterday. Tell me the guy told her why he wasn't interested in dating her any further and instead of taking that for what it was and considering the truth in it or you know maybe just the fact that if that is an issue for you then we're not you're not meant for me she immediately came back and made it her own fault it's my fault because of my weight he ain't say shit about your weight he wouldn't have, dated you up until now if your weight was the issue but that's your own confidence that's your own confidence and also i want you to ask yourself this just coming to me you know who you are i want you to ask yourself see his issue he said she was too ambitious so this is my thing are you so insecure in yourself that you are overly ambitious to mask the fact that you really are insecure and have low self-esteem. And so you look at accolades as, as trophies of your confidence. Are they masked? Are you trying to prove to the world or even yourself how amazing you are because of your 
achievements because you don't really believe that you are outside of what you're capable of accomplishing. So it's about your confidence. And I'm telling you, once you work on your confidence, I want to tell you, it's an ongoing thing, okay? It's not a, a one a one-time thing. That's why I'm in the mirror in the morning telling myself that I'm beautiful, I'm lovable, I'm sexy, I'm attractive, I'm desirable, I'm gorgeous, I deserve the love of my life. I now live, uh, I wanted to say, I wrote, I wrote something down to say, oh, I am worthy of a deep, see, I do this for real, y'all. I just wrote this a few hours ago, okay? When I was talking to my other friend, I, I wrote this down for her, but then I decided to put it on my monitor too. I am worthy of a deep, meaningful, fun, loving, romantic relationship. I am worthy of a deep, meaningful, fun, loving, romantic relationship. Do you believe that you are? Do you believe that you are? Or do you believe that your weight is a hindrance? To you being loved by a man the way that you desire because if that is what you believe then that is what you're going to get that is going to be the reality of your situation and the thing is um and i was i was my girlfriend who i was talking to a couple hours ago she said to me that because um she actually had lost a whole bunch of weight she lost i think it was like um 40 50 pounds something and she said the way that men approached her and everything is totally different. She's gained all the way back. So, yes, we got her on the juice. She's on the juice today. Today, she's on the juice. But she said the way men approach her now and the way they treat her now is totally different than they did last year when she was smaller. The truth of the matter is it has nothing to do with her weight. When she had lost that weight, you imagine how good you feel losing 50 pounds? That bitch was walking around like she was the shit. I asked to be the shit, sis. Okay? She she was walking around like, bitch, you my boo to herself in the mirror. Okay? So her confidence in how happy she was with herself, how good she felt about her, her own self, that radiated out. So she attracted a different man. She attracted a different reaction, a different response from men but now you feeling bad about yourself you're in the dumps you feeling like a failure you're feeling like you know you're unhappy you're miserable because you gained the way back you attract the next type of response from the men around you it ain't that your weight changed it's that you changed how you feel about you change that's what changed so if you really feeling like your weight is a hindrance, I would encourage you, number one, to start telling yourself that it's not. But number two, start working on it. Figure out why you're carrying around that extra weight that you're not happy with. Figure out why, you know, you've, you've let yourself get to a point where you're not happy with yourself, where you don't feel good about yourself, and start working on it you're gonna feel a lot more confident i mean i know when i was trying to get started working out and let me just say working out for me is still i still gotta do five four three two one go just go just go do it i gotta do that with myself every day okay hopefully not hopefully by the end of the year that's gonna change i'm gonna be fitness queen y'all don't know i'm going to be the fitness queen give me a year okay i'm working on it i'm working on it but uh, I'm, I have a ways to go, but it's, it's something that is of importance to me now, but it really wasn't before, but now it is. I want to be a fitness inspiration to people. I really do, because if my ass can turn into a gym nut, anybody can, I promise you. So that's my vision, and I'm working on it. I, I, I got work to do, but I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there because that's the vision I have for myself and my life. But uh, I don't know why I went on that tangent. <laughs> but 
you know, uh, oh, but I was saying it was when I first started, like, I remember the first day I said, okay, Steph, you've been saying every single day you're going to go walking. You don't go walking. Every day you say, I'm going to go walking for an hour. I'm going to walk four miles. Why don't you just get your ass up on the treadmill and walk for 15 minutes? Just do that. Y'all, after I did that, I, I was on cloud nine. I was on top of the world. You couldn't tell me nothing. I felt so confident. I was so happy with myself because I kept my word to myself. I did something good for myself. And th that's just grown every day since. And there's still days that I don't, uh, every day, let's be clear. I don't like working out every day. I'm sorry. I, I promised myself I wouldn't tell myself that anymore. But yeah, it's uh, still a challenge for me. And I am changing <laughs> my, my mindset about it. But yeah, so I want you to know, ladies, sisters, it's not your weight. It's your confidence. And that's why you can see some women. I got a cousin who's been overweight her whole life since she was a little kid. She's younger than me. And she's always been so confident. And her beauty just radiates. She ain't never had a problem getting a man. She's grown now for kid and everything. She never, ever had a problem getting a man. And let me just tell you something. The man she gets every single time is since middle school no joke since middle school it's always the guy all the girls want every single time and like when i say she's a big girl like big uh, not just like oh she need to lose 30 pounds no like a big girl and she always gets the, the guy all the girls want and they be talking smack like in high school it was a whole thing like why he with her da, 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 da. her confidence her confidence was like no other woman. You got women out here that's a size four, and they so, you know, not confident about themselves. They drive the man in their life crazy because they always, you know, in the mirror. They always worried about how they look. They, they want to fuck with the light off. I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> so it's just about, it's her confidence. So you got to learn, you got to start there. It's not your weight that is attracting deadbeats because the, the, the skinny girls, they go through the same thing. If it's confidence that determines the type of dating life you have, your own confidence and how you carry yourself. Are you, are you masculine? Are you angry? Do you got a stank attitude? Do you really feel like, you know, See, it's the difference between knowing you are a goddess on a pedestal and then making sure, and, and you acting like you got to make sure that's enforced and everybody better know you are a goddess on the pedestal and that's how you're supposed to be treated. When you really are a goddess on a pedestal, you don't have to demand nothing from nobody because your presence commands it all. If you don't love you, I encourage you to stop dating for a while until you can look yourself in the mirror and go, you the shit. You deserve everything your heart desires. You are an amazing, wonderful person. Any and every man would be lucky to have you. Uh, until you feel that way about yourself, you're going to keep attracting fuckboys. That's just the bottom line. And you might even attract a guy who he's just a fuckboy with you. Because you gave him fuckboy vibes. Remember, but what I always say is there's a king and a joker in every man. The one you speak to is the one who will respond. Who you speaking to? I love you.